Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Stevie K and this is Sri. Hi guys. Okay, we have another video. This is something uh, people have asked before, but more because we done part one and posted it the other day. Oh. So we're doing part two. Uh, why is India great? Part two. Uh, Want to learn some more stuff and obviously it's a newer one. So uh, ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hey. Bharat, Hindustan, India. Akhir ye desh mahan kyo hai? Why? Why is India great? Because by year 2022 we'll destroy China's population 1.4 billion? Or uneven social stratification? Ya hamara system, political issues, terrorism, poverty, inequality, illiteracy. Right? No. Nahi. Sari dunia ek parivar hai. Vasudhev Kutumbakam Aisi Sanskriti Sabbita Wala Hamara Desh Jo Hum Sabke Sine Me Thadakta Hua Hissa Hai Usi Ka To Yeh Sara Kissa Hai Hum Us Desh Ke Vasi Hai Jaha A Vivastha Me Bhi Vivastha Hai Or Hamara Mangalyaan Hollywood Movie Gravity Se Bhi Sasta Hai Pahle Hi Prayas Me Mangal Tak Pahunchne Wala Pahla Desh Bharat Hai Or Chandrayaan 2 Ke Baad Bharat Woh Pahla Desh Hooga जो चंद्रमा के दक्षिणी ध्रुव पर कदम रखेगा एक वो दिन था जब 1963 में हमारे पहले रॉकेट को एक साइकिल पर लाया गया था और आज इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसरो विश्व के सबसे सफल अंतरिक्ष संगठनों में से एक है वो क्या है ना अंदाजा सिर्फ ताकत का लगाया जा सकता है हौसलों का नहीं और बात जब खेलों की होती है तो हौसले के साथ साथ जुनून और पागलपन भी बेशुमार होता है क्योंकि कबड्डी के सारे वर्ल्ड कप इंडिया ने जीते हैं मैरी कॉम विश्व चैंपियनशिप में 6 स्वर्ण पदक जीतने वाली पहली महिला मुक्केबाज हैं 21 दिनों में 6 गोल्ड मेडल जीतने वाली द गोल्डन गर्ल हीमा दास पंकज अडवाणी स्नूकर और बिलियर्ड्स दोनों के सभी प्रारूपों में विश्व खिताब जीतने वाले दुनिया के एकमात्र खिलाड़ी हैं और ये तो सिर्फ ट्रेलर है पिक्चर अभी बाकी है क्योंकि क्रिकेट के तो इतने वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड्स हैं पूछता रहेगा इस दुनिया में सदियों तक ऐसा अंजाम लिखा है हमने देयर इज नो कंट्री मोर डाइवर्स देन इंडिया रंगों का देश जहां हर दिन एक त्यौहार है हमारी कला संस्कृति सभ्यता इतनी समृद्धशाली है कि आज से 5000 वर्ष पूर्व जब विश्व में ज्यादातर सभ्यताएं खाना बदोश जीवन व्यतीत करती थी तब भारत में सिंधु घाटी उन्नति के शिखर पर थी ऋग्वेद विश्व का सबसे प्राचीन लिखित ग्रंथ है भारतीय सभ्यता और वेदों ने आज से कई हजार वर्ष पूर्व पॉइंट जीरो नंबर सिस्टम नेविगेशन और कैलेंडर से लेकर नृत्य गायन वादन और सभी कलाओं के साथ-साथ स्पिरिचुअलिटी एस्ट्रोनॉमी लिटरेचर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन मैथमेटिक्स एग्रीकल्चर बिजनेस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ नेचुरल लॉ और मेडिकल साइंस के साथ-साथ स्पेस साइंस तक का लिखित प्रमाणित ज्ञान दिया है इस संसार के सबसे प्राचीन नगर भारत में है गोल्डन टेंपल दुनिया में सबसे ज्यादा देखे जाने वाला धार्मिक स्थल है जहां जाति धर्म वर्ग और उम्र के दायरों से ऊपर उठकर हर रोज लगभग 1 लाख लोगों को श्रद्धा से भोजन कराया जाता है ऐसा देश जहां 3 लाख से अधिक मस्जिदें कुंभ मेला द लार्जेस्ट गैदरिंग इन ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री एक साथ 15 करोड़ से भी ज्यादा लोगों का तीर्थ जिसे अंतरिक्ष से देखा जा सकता था यह मन को शांति देने वाले बुद्धा के विचार हैं जीसस की प्रेयर है वाहे गुरु की अरदास है रहीम की खीर है और राम का प्रसाद है अनेकता में एकता की इससे बेहतरीन झलक शायद ही कहीं और होगी माना यह थोड़ा बाय वन भरोसा एंड गेट 100% धोखा फ्री है जगह-जगह लंबी कतारें हैं और पेट्रोल पंप में तो सिक्योरिटी वार्निंग लिखी होती है द यूज ऑफ सेल फोन्स इज स्ट्रिक्टली प्रोहिबिटेड और ठीक उसके बगल में लिखा होता है पेटीएम करो एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट इंडिया इन्वेंटेड पोस्टिंग शिट ऑन द वॉल्स लॉन्ग बिफोर फेसबुक 
दरअसल यहाँ जीवन वर्थ है व्यर्थ नहीं है और तो और विश्व के 75 प्रतिशत बाघ भारत में पाए जाते हैं और साथ ही भारत के लोह पुरुष सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल जिनकी नर्मदा नदी के छोटे से टापू पर बनाई गई विश्व की सबसे विशाल प्रतिमा द स्टैच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा स्कूल सबसे ऊंचा क्रिकेट ग्राउंड फ्लोटिंग पोस्ट ऑफिस एंटी ग्रेविटी हिल्स द वर्ल्ड चीपेस्ट कार दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा रेल ब्रिज दुनिया की पहली हॉस्पिटल ट्रेन वैसे ट्रेन से याद आया यह डर के आगे जीत है और दादर के आगे सीट है क्योंकि भारत में प्रतिदिन जितने लोग रेलवेज में ट्रेवल करते हैं उतनी तो ऑस्ट्रेलिया की पॉपुलेशन है आधे से कुछ ज्यादा पूरे से कुछ कम जो लाखों में एक होते हैं वही है हम भारत की जुड़वा बहने ताशी और नुंगशी मलिक जिन्होंने तेईस साल की उम्र में माउंट एवरेस्ट सहित दुनिया के सातों महाद्वीप की सबसे ऊंची पर्वत श्रेणियों को फतेह कर किनीज बुक ऑफ वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड में अपना नाम दर्ज किया है ज्योति अमगे इज द शॉर्टेस्ट वुमेन इन दी अर्थ और दुनिया भर में जितना सोना है उसका 11 प्रतिशत सोना तो केवल भारतीय महिलाओं के पास है पूरी दुनिया में सबसे ज्यादा महिला पायलट्स भारत में है और भारतीय माँ हर भारतीय माँ डॉक्टर होती है विदाउट एम डिग्री and we have recognized third gender everyone is guaranteed their rights in our country aur kuch cheeze be wajah hi achhi lagti hain jaise ki indian cuisine jisme hai paramparaon ka tadka vividhtaon ka swad khatta meetha chatpata har zaika hai la jawab duniya ka sabse bada masalon ka utpadak desh bharat jahan vishwa ki 25% dalon ka utpadan kiya jata hai और यहाँ सबकी एक ही राय है कि दुनिया की सबसे बेहतरीन चीज चाय है और ये किस्सा नहीं कहानी है सारी दुनिया को जो सुनानी है द बिजनेस टाइकून मुकेश धीरू भाई अंबानी द रिचेस्ट इंडिविजुअल इन एशिया एंड एटीन वेल्थियस्ट पर्सन इन दी वर्ल्ड लक्ष्मी निवास मित्तल द किंग ऑफ स्टील रतन नवल टाटा ओनर ऑफ जेगवार लैंड रोवर इन द टाटा ग्रुप एंड सी ऑफ गूगल मास्टर कार्ड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट Adobe, PepsiCo and many more. Wow. अब जीना यहाँ मरना यहाँ इसके सिवा जाना कहा यहाँ सिनेमा मैजिक है एडिक्शन है पागलपन है प्यार है थेरेपी है इंडियन फिल्म इंडस्ट्री पूरी दुनिया में सबसे ज्यादा फिल्म प्रोड्यूस करने वाली इंडस्ट्री है और अब हॉलीवुड की बड़ी बड़ी मीडिया कंपनीज ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी फॉक्स वार्नर ब्रदर्स द वर्ल्ड डिज्नी भी बॉलीवुड में इन्वेस्ट कर रही हैं और बड़े बड़े देशों में ऐसी छोटी छोटी बातें होती रहती हैं बिकॉज शाहरुख खान इज द रिचेस्ट एक्टर ऑफ दिस प्लान और पूरे वर्ल्ड में अमेजोन प्राइम वीडियो इंडिया में सबसे सस्ता है माइक्रो प्रोसेसर पेंटियम चिप ऑप्टिक फाइबर और रेडियो वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन से लेकर द वर्ल्ड स्मॉलेस्ट सेटेलाइट को भारत ने ईजाद किया है स्पिनिंग व्हील कॉटन कल्टीवेशन डायमंड एंड जिंक माइनिंग से लेकर फिबोना की नंबर्स पाइनरी कोड और रूलर तक उस देश की देन है जहाँ जाति धर्म भाषा बोली अलग अलग है फिर भी सबका है सम्मान पूर्व से लेकर पश्चिम तक सारा एक हिंदुस्तान दुनिया की सबसे तेज सुपरसोनिक क्रूज मिसाइल ब्रह्मोस और थोरियम बेस्ड न्यूक्लियर पावर वाला देश जिसने अपने एक लाख वर्षों के इतिहास में कभी किसी देश पर पहले आक्रमण नहीं किया वो इतिहास है भारत दुनिया की सबसे तेजी से बढ़ती हुई अर्थव्यवस्था जहाँ विश्व की सबसे बड़ी युवा आबादी रहती है उन युवाओं की रग रग में दौड़ता सुर्ख लाल रंग है भारत विश्व का सबसे बड़ा लोकतंत्र जहाँ फरिश्ते सिर्फ आसमान में नहीं रहते जमीने हिंद में उन्हें जवान कहते हैं जो माइनस तिरपन डिग्री सेल्सियस की ठंड से लेकर बावन दशमलव चार डिग्री सेल्सियस की गर्मी में भी सीमा पर तैनात होकर देश की रक्षा करते हैं और अपनी मातृभूमि के लिए मुस्कुराते हुए जान भी दे देते हैं वो जवान वो सैनिक है भारत ऐसा देश जहां देश को देश नहीं मां भारत माता समझा जाता है ऐसे अखंड भारत का नागरिक होने पर हमें गर्व होना चाहिए और यही वो चीज है जो इस देश को एक महान देश बनाती है दैट्स वाई इंडिया इज ग्रेट नेशन और अगर आप सबका दिल भी इन बातों से जोरों से धड़कने लगा है तो इसे अपने साथियों से जरूर शेयर करें वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम oh 
and how it's made makes me want to just go to India I right know, now. You know what I, I mean? Know. But I'm everything. To it and I, oh, I've just got this biggest smile on my face. Like I know I've said it before, but there's so much we don't know about our about India, about our culture, um, and there's many reasons for that we've mentioned before as well. But there's never been a time in life where you, even living here in the UK, you don't feel. I've never felt like you know what you know, any other cultures that I've always felt that our roots, our being Indian, I've been proud of being Indian. And then hearing all of these, you know, things you wouldn't know of, just that smile on your face. You've always been proud of being Indian, that kind of thing from just as a, a growing up culture, everything, there's so much to us, you know, we celebrate so many different things and we, everything. And then t to come to this, not knowing certain things, that like you do so many things you don't know about to make you feel even more like, you know what? Before I say anything more, I'm just gonna say, I subtitle not see the Hindi on the Punjabi on the year. I thought I'd better say it like that because I say it again and again and again, and you know, people still keep on asking. And so I've now spoken it in, um, in the language that you know, people understand that I do speak it, I do understand it. There were subtitles there, but I didn't even look at that. I don't think you needed to. His voice. So basically told you everything. Uh, so sab kuch aasi samjhde ya. But jo tusi sunde ni hai ke fe kini vari si fe kahi jaye. Vesa no Hindi on diya, Punjabi bhi on diya. The Urdu bhi thori on diya. Yeah, thori ji Urdu bhi on diya. Yeah, but samjhte. Um, but that's that was the video. I mean, it's it makes you so passionate about India. Um, I mean, I was getting goosebumps while I was listening to it. It made you feel, even though I'm living in the UK, uh, I wasn't born in India, and uh, neither were you, but it gave you the feeling of belonging, you know, that we're part of something. You know, obviously our grandparents are from India, our parents are from India, basically all our ancestors are from India. Um, our grandparents and our parents were the first and second generation to come here, yeah. and we were the um, third. We only know what they taught us or tell us mm. you know, and a so, majority of this stuff they wouldn't know that. so our parents came around we just know we know about Punjab more or less because we've been there many times uh, obviously you know, we've got our home there and we've got us in the city and we've got our farm in the village as well so um, but all these other things we, we were never taught about them I mean the, out of all those places the only place I went was to uh, Amritsar, to the Golden Temple. Um, that I mean, luckily, I'm blessed to be able to do that. But we did um, at one point take when we went with the girls when they were smaller. We went, remember we went to that um, science garden thing in Punjab. It was that was near our home. Yeah, that was interesting. That was just up the. Was it science? Yeah, it was science garden. So that was that. I mean, but it's just amazed of all the things that they, you know. I mean, I mean, I'm not amazed to be honest. I mean, I expect that anyway. You know, I know about Shah Khan and just recently learnt about Tata Industries and his empire. It's, it's only um, because of us doing this that we've got yeah, to learn more. Yeah. I came across that the world's um, smallest um, woman. And I actually watched it for a while and I was going to tell you about it. I have, she was mentioned in there. I have come across her. What? She was put again, uh, she met the world's largest, tallest man. And I think he was, was he from Germany or, no, 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 Russia. I can't remember, but he was huge and bless her. They had a little get together, but you wouldn't have known about it. Yeah, so th there was a lot on there. I mean, like all the things that you, like, you know, they've taught, all the things that they've made. Uh, all the cultures and the religions and the mosques and the Gurdwara and the churches, you know, it's like such a diverse place yeah. um, And people don't understand that side yet. Yeah, because it's like you guys if you like came to the UK and you like were just in one particular area um, Your mind is made up Due to that area that you're in I, I, Like Sarit just said when she was at school she didn't feel felt like she belonged because she was in a Catholic school. Yeah. Whereas I, I never had that issue. I was grown up. I mean, I my friends were white, black, Indian, but there's nothing. I never felt anything to do with um, racial tension or racial issues. Mm. 
we all got on but then Steve and we had a good I mean even their parents were really nice the teachers were good I, I'd never had an issue with that Steve comes from an area where there's the majority there were a lot more Asians where they were and the, um, one of the first sort of good right in the areas where, as well so. where I lived there was hardly any um a fair few scattered and the school that I went to there was four Asian girls in the t entire year and I used to get picked on all the time, literally, if we had like PE, um, we'd be the last to be chosen. Like you have teams, we'll be still standing there waiting to be chosen. So it was we used to get picked on because of our colour. But uh, there's never any point in my life where I felt like, no, I wish I wasn't this colour. I've always been proud of being Indian, regardless of how, you know, the racist comments you got growing up. And it, it continued on into college years. And not college, it's kind of stopped in college years, but throughout um, infant school to, you know, high school, it was quite. There's lots of Asians in your area. I'm yeah, surprised. but at schools, because I went to a Catholic school, so I did. We did get it a lot. But you know, there's never that time that you didn't feel proud of being. So Asian. see, that's why I said, uh, always be grateful for what you had. I was in a place that I'm very grateful. I mean, even now, but I can't knock my childhood. I was comfortable. I was mm. happy. Um, I had good people around. Even our neighbours were white, and they were lovely. Uh, we used to go over to their house. So if you can imagine. Yeah, you know, so it's not everywhere. It's not like what I'm trying to say is like we can come to India. We could be in a certain place. We've been in Punjab, and I felt a bit like it's what you know what I mean. I mean the way things were, uh, but yet I've gone to a different part of India, like Goa, and I loved it kind of thing. So it, it all depends. So people just judge things without actually or by seeing them on TV or reading them in the paper. Or what people are saying, like Sarit saying, now Sarit turned around and went, I went into a place like this, and people all raised, all of a sudden, your picture is already painted that, oh, that's what all of them must be like. Oh, yeah. So don't always take it like that. Just like, you know, we, if we didn't go to certain places of India and all that, we can't just assume everyone is the same, yeah. and vice it's versa. Only when we, we kind of ventured out ourselves and went to Goa that we kind of felt, we learned a lot more, don't you think? We ventured out and we seen and we travelled and. We went to so many different places there, whereas mm. when we go to India and we've been with family, more we've never been able to trapped. go out and learn well, I mean, we were more trapped we're there trapped. than we were than we are now during this that's coronavirus because, period. That's because of going with parents I mean, and family. You know, so it was, it was like that. So our experiences each time wasn't, I mean, when I, went, when I was younger, we always stayed on the farm. I think the only good thing was I was always, you know, got to ride a horse and things like that. So it was, it was good. But um, that was a video. I mean, it's just Make sure like I said, really it's proud. passionate and yeah, proud. Want to come to India? Want to be part of this? Want to try and see some of the stuff that we haven't seen? Meet different people. Um, you know that explore. You know our back roots that we haven't and Maybe that kind can, of thing. Yeah, tell our children because we haven't. Not much. Yeah, because we can't really tell them much about it because we just tell them from what we've experienced mm -hmm. and they take it from there. So if our experiences weren't good, mm -hmm. um, then they already have made their mind up. But if obviously we come and we explore more and do other things and they see that, their mindset around. will be totally different yeah. about it. But I mean, everything, it just makes you feel proud to be Indian kind of thing, especially that video. And I'm so appreciative to you guys who actually point this out to us and say, watch this. Um, it's not just about uh, being proud to be Indian, but it's about, you know, learning stuff that no one else knew. Uh, and I'm sure even in your schools, I mean, I'm sure they don't turn around and go, oh, God, this, we've done this, we've done that, or this is happening, that's happening. They try to teach you what they've got to teach you kind of thing. Um, but like I says, yes, ji ha, sanu, hindi ondi, punjabi ondi, just in case people ask again. Uh, so, you know, we don't need subtitles, but we do try to find subtitles and put them on because we got people in America and Australia and all that. Indians who also watch it but don't understand Hindi, just like many people here don't. Uh, so they get to read it and, you know, do that. But we, we definitely do. Our kids might not, but I mean, they actually understand it. They just don't, don't speak it. Like we said in the last video, they don't want to be criticised for saying things that are wrong, but they, we can't even speak in, well, before we think speaking in Punjabi and Hindi was cold, that they don't <laughs> understand, but they, we realise it's not cold, they understand everything we're saying, it's just, just because they act like they don't. So uh, if we ever do bring them to India, don't swear or say anything, you know, that you shouldn't because they understand everything you say, and we especially do so.
um, many times people try to write on in the comments in you know Hindi think that we don't understand what's going on and I understand what you lot are saying, so uh, you know, just think about it before you lot write. Um, <laughs> I mean, I replied to someone back in Punjabi the other. Well, um, I knew what I wrote. He actually wrote in proper Punjabi, and uh, and I said to him, "You've just wrote to me this." Yeah, uh, no, not positive. Okay. Uh, very positive, and um, and I knew what he had written, so he was a bit surprised that I read Punjabi. Yes, I read Punjabi. I can write Punjabi. Um, I've actually got a GCSE in Punjabi as well, so uh, that's that was my school. But anyway, guys, that was a video. Thank you very much. Uh, it's always good to learn about your roots and your culture. Like I said, you know where our grandparents come from. We are proud. Um, we respect our country that we live in. They always say, "Just um, So you know we've grown up here. They've looked after us. They took care of us take care of our children but at the end of the day our grandparents and our ancestors and our parents all come from India you know all be this so they uh, you know that if they didn't look after them that time we wouldn't be born so we appreciate India we appreciate this country we actually appreciate every country because wherever it is no matter where you go I'm sure you know what just like India and England you get looked after you get you know you get fed you get homed it is what it is you know what I mean? You shouldn't disrespect anyone's religion or country or anything like that. So, uh, and that's what makes you a true Indian, mm -hmm. I believe. You know what I mean? The ones that respect and love everyone, like I said, it's diverse. So it doesn't matter which country you are, what you're doing, respect everyone equally. And that's all that matters. Anyway guys, that was the video. Make sure you click on the like button, share it with everyone you know, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, see you soon. See bye. You, bye.